very much. Our next speaker is Magdalena Janczewska from the Warsaw University of Technology in Poland. And she will talk about in vivo studies of cytotoxicity of dextrain doxorubicin nanoparticles. Good morning. Uh, my name is Magdalena Janczewska. I'm from Warsaw University of Technology uh, from Biomedical Engineering Laboratory. And I would like to introduce you our idea for nanoparticles. Uh, we have we, we decided to make them from natural polymers due to their features as they're bi biodegradable, bioavailable, water soluble mostly, and the extran is already FDA approved. Um, due to the easy oxidation uh, of the extran chain, uh, we, uh, we can attach coiling agents and uh, drug, uh, drugs, various drugs to the, to the structure. And thanks to the hydrophilic, hydrophobic interaction, the nanoparticle self-assembles uh, in a water env uh, environment. And that gives us nanoparticle with uh, adjustable surface uh, that uh, we can connect various targeting agents to. Uh, and of course, the targeting is our aim, of course, efficacy too. Uh, in vivo studies that we conducted with uh, cooperation with Warsaw Medical University um, was, uh, was experimental on bulb mice with doxorubicin inside nanoparticles and in free form, uh, administration uh, was intraperitoneal. As the results showed, uh, when uh, doxorubicin is administrated in a free way, it accumulates most... Uh, many times, <laughs> nearly 10 times uh, less in a tumor area than when it's in administrated in nanoparticle uh, form. We also made an efficacy uh, research that showed that both doxorubicin uh, um, forms uh, made a tumor, uh, tumor growth inhibition. Uh, however, slightly, but it's a really slight, <laughs> better uh, result was for nanoparticles. Uh, that was for equivalent doses of doxorubicin contain, contained in nanoparticle and in free form. Uh, that's why we think that perhaps an equitoxic doses may be uh, more, more effi effect effective ev uh, eventually. Uh, as I proved shortly, uh, our nanoparticles are, could be uh, also for treatment, as I, we hope for diagnosis due to the great targeting effect. Mm, we also have challenges uh, in front of us, of course. Uh, next, we want to uh, make a pharmacokinetics pharmacokinetic, and pharmacodynamics uh, of these nanoparticles in the organisms. Uh, we want to make new tests with intravenous uh, administration and just a few uh, results of our uh, diagnosis trials. We made fluorescent nanocrystals by nanoprecipitation inside nanoparticles and attached to the surface P30 targeting protein. As we can see, after 24 hours uh, on healthy tissue, uh, esophageal tissue of a rat, there is no sign at all of fluorescence, whereas uh, in a Isophagal lesion, we can have, we can see uh, vividly the fluorescent crystals accumulating in uh, cancer cells. That's all, and I will invite you all for my fo to my poster. Thank you for attention. Thank you very much. Our next next speaker is.